what's up cancer and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so we are in december so let's see what's going on with you guys um this will be for sun moon rising and venus signs okay now with these readings guys it's going to be a general reading i do not expect it to resonate with 100 percent of you but if you guys uh want something that's very accurate just get a personal reading okay now, in regards to personal readings, I have changed my system dramatically. So whether you've gotten a reading in the past or you're looking to get one in the future, um, just listen in for the last minute when I talk about that, just so you guys know how to get in touch with me and how the system works now, okay? All right, so what is going on with the sign of cancer, December 2018? What is going on with the sign of cancer? Hermit card in the reverse moved out. So for some of you, you could be coming out of a place where you were kind of to yourself, you know, in hermit mode. And, you know, you're coming out of that. You're socializing more. You're opening up more. Or it could be something that you guys are moving forward with in life where you don't fully have all the facts. Or maybe someone's moving forward with something in regards to you and they don't have all the facts on it. All right. We have your past. Present and future okay so the energy that you guys have is a star card in the reverse so there's something that you lose faith in something that you're just not too hopeful for anymore and you have the king of swords in the reverse and the page of pentacles in the reverse so honestly guys this is a situation where uh, where whether it was you or somebody else someone just put a lot of effort into this they didn't get the intended results that they wanted from it and with the king of swords in the reverse this is a very you know abusive narcissistic energy this is someone who's only going to look after themselves and they're only concerned about how things are going to benefit them and if they're you know if they find themselves in something that is not beneficial to them they're not going to be part of it so most of the time you know it's something that's very malicious but other times it could also be someone who's been pushed to an extreme and now they kind of have to be an asshole towards at least a person or you know a group of people now in your past you guys have the sun card as your first card so this is going to be you know things that are bright and abundant coming into your life but it could also be kind of like the moon card where there's going to be light that's shed on a situation we have the king of swords in the reverse okay so that could be libra aquarius or gemini energy but just anybody who's really in a you know just pissed off about something and we have the high priestess in the reverse so in this case guys i truly feel like there was something that came to light and this was something that you really just tried um turning a blind eye to you weren't seeing it for what it truly was you weren't listening to your intuition and with whatever came out it really could have pissed someone off or it really could have brought the worst out of a person but with the hierophant and the three of wands this is the universe saying look this is something that was supposed to happen okay and you had to turn your back from this so you could expand the hierophant you know to me is a very powerful card i love it coming up whether it's in a good situation or in a bad situation because it tells me that this is something i'm meant to be going through right now and that you know whether the situation ended badly which i feel like for a lot of you it did but whether it ended bad or good it's something that brought you closer to your higher self so there's definitely a purpose for it okay even if it wasn't you know the best experience for some of you now you guys have the nine of cups okay as your next card for the past so this is happiness satisfaction really just having a lot of what you feel you need and you have the queen of wands so for some of you this could have been a leo aries or sagittarius that made you very happy for others of you there could have been something that you were doing where you were in a very strong and creative and kind of like a boss position towards it okay but at the same time you're still feeling a loss over what didn't work out let's pull one more card here we have the nine of swords in the reverse so you stop worrying about a situation that you know you know wasn't working out in its best or to its best ability and you guys are in a place where you just don't want to lose sleep okay you don't want to overthink anymore and so you're really really standing your ground because there is something in your life that your soul did not want for you and you had to get rid of that okay 
Now, the next card that you guys have for your past, Ace of Swords. This is all about new beginnings, but specifically with the Ace of Swords, this is talking about cutting out some bullshit. Cutting out something that was going to derail you, that wasn't, you know, meant to be in your life anymore, so that you can go on towards a new beginning. And we have the Two of Swords in the reverse, so a very difficult decision you had to make, but you made it, and you cut something out. And we have the Page of Swords. So with the Page of Swords here, it could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini that you guys were dealing with. Um, but this is also going to be a very direct and honest and straightforward sense of communication. Um, this is my favorite communicator just because of how straight up they are, whether it's going to be something that's comfortable or uncomfortable to talk about. Okay, so whether you guys are sad or not, you won. You had victory by getting yourself out of this. It doesn't matter who was the bad person here or who did what. It's just, you know, when you're faced or when you're in a situation with another person and it's bringing out bad qualities in them and in you, it's just not good, okay? It doesn't matter who's doing what. It's just the fact that your energies are combined together and a lot of shit happens. It's just not a situation that you want to be in, okay? So you guys had victory by getting out of this. Now, in your present moment, the first card that you guys have is the Five of Cups. So definitely a loss that you're feeling. And you guys have to understand that with this card, it's not that you've lost everything that's going on for you. It's just you're more focused on what you lost as opposed to what's there and what's available and what you can build on. Storm, you can't have cat food, okay? So you guys are feeling some sort of loss here and it's something that is very difficult for you guys to move away from. But at the same time with the Eight of Pentacles, there's things here that you're still able to work on and that you're still able to do. For a lot of you, I just feel like you have to put an active effort into letting this go because of how difficult it could be for you. Um, for some of you, maybe it's just someone promiscuous or someone unreliable from your past, okay? Now with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, Somebody here was just not genuinely invested in something. So if this is you guys leaving a job, you probably just hated it. If this was some sort of partnership or friendship, um, then somebody just wasn't genuinely there for the right reasons. Okay. Now, the next card we have for your present moment, which is also the center of your reading where everything ties in, is the Four of Swords. So you guys are in a place where you are really just re-looking at everything in your life you're thinking about you know everything that you've gone through up until this point and you're not going to move forward until you truly feel like the path that you're going to take makes sense okay i haven't spoken about the history of this card in a long time but um traditionally in most decks you'll see a knight and they'll be laying down in a coffin okay and what that um, what that refers to is, you know, back in the day when knights went into battle, things like that, um, when they would come back, especially if they were in one piece and alive and able to see their families again, they would kind of lay down, you know, in that coffin because it's like, you know, this is where I could have been. So it's just a very powerful and monumental thing because it's just, you know, you have another chance at life. So how do you want to do it? How do you want to move forward? You've been giving a second chance. So this person, they're really, really going to think and um, they're going to think about what's truly important and how, you know, they should move about, how they should do things. So we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse and we have the Devil card. So not only are you guys thinking about how to move forward, but there's still this very reckless and toxic situation that you guys are dealing with. Okay, so you have to realize that something's a waste of time and effort. And guys, when you close this out, yes, there could be a sense of unhappiness here. But with the world card, you know, this talks about something that we're ending, a chapter that we're ending. But it means that something really good is coming in. This is a very good and powerful card to have. And let me just pick it up now. But yeah, the world wants to come towards you guys. All right. So moving forward in your present moment, the next card that you guys have is the Six of Pentacles. So there's something here that makes you feel balanced, that there's equal give and take. What are you doing? Just making sure I didn't have a card on the floor because my dog loves cards. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Temperance card in the reverse. So 
because of you guys moving away from something, you have balance in life. But I feel like this is, you know, the part where you're realizing you have to move away from something, but you're not happy about it. Okay, you're going in the right direction, but emotionally you still have shit you gotta get through. Okay, so there's just something here that your soul didn't want. And again, you guys have the Six of Pentacles where you have that balance. And again, you have victory. You guys got yourselves out of something that was karmic. All right, so your emotions might not be caught up to how happy your soul is that you're out of this, but it'll get there. You know, you guys have to be kind to yourselves and you have to, you know, be honest about what was gonna work and what wasn't gonna work. Now, moving forward into the future, the first card that we have is the Judgment card. So we're taking a step forward from this Four of Swords, and you guys are making important decisions here, okay? You're doing, well, you're taking like an overall look at the situation in front of you, and you're choosing what direction you want to go in, okay? So you're making that final call. We have the World card, all right? So that chapter's getting closed out, so something new could come in. And you guys have the Emperor here. All right, so Emperor could be Aries or Virgo, but in this case, I feel like that is just the approach that you guys have to take. These three cards, they're all major arcana, so this is going to be a huge inevitable shift that comes in where you're just looking at all of your experiences and what's gotten you up to this point, and now you have to think in a wise way. The Emperor is very, very trusted. Okay, this is someone that people rely on to lead them. So this is going to be a person that... Not only are they going to make the best decision, you know, for everyone involved, but you have to keep in mind that even if it's not necessarily what they may have primarily wanted, they're still going to do what is best for the greater good. All right. So you're deciding that there's something you just have to close out of your life. And again, you guys have that king of pentacles in the verse. So I feel like you're just realizing, okay, something here was not genuine. Someone here was not 100% in this. All right. Now, the next card that you guys have for your future is the Two of Wands. So, setting your eye on something that you're passionate about and going towards that path. You know, this could be a card about taking paths that we can be passionate about, but when you have the Two of Wands, it's like you've already chosen which way you want to go. So, it's just a matter of following what makes you passionate at this point. Or at least looking at the path of what makes you passionate. Okay, so there's two things that are happening here. One, you have your eyes set on something that makes you passionate, but because of your constant thinking of the past, you're trying to find balance, and it's like you're trying to juggle these options. Now, at the time that this happens, guys, either you're going to reach out to someone from your past that you kind of fell off with, or they're gonna reach out to you. I don't see this being a stable situation, okay? Either you guys are involved in something else, especially if it's romantic, maybe you have someone else and, you know, they're just going to lose faith in this. But with the King of Cups in the verse, could, again, that could be their energy as well. So something from the past is going to come in. Um, it might tempt you, it might not, but it's just something that I don't see as stable, especially if it's within love. I feel like um, if this is between two people, one of them has someone else, so it just isn't going to work. All right. And that could be something that really bothers you and breaks your heart. Okay, or maybe it could break theirs, but there is a sense of disappointment here. You have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Two of Cups in the reverse. So you're upset that something doesn't work out. Okay, that you have to let it go. And that things had to end because someone was just holding way too many secrets here. All right, so you guys really have to stand your ground because you guys do have something that you're going to be able to build on. But... You know, that situation from the past, I just see it being a waste of time, a waste of energy, okay? Eight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this is the most important part for you guys to focus on right now, where it's like, you know, stop looking at things in a certain way and take your blindfold off and see it for what it truly is, okay? Stop trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. Stop, um, you know, sugarcoating shitty situations that don't deserve any sugar, all right? So let me get you guys some cards of advice on how to move forward with this, how to proceed with this. Okay, 
let's see what advice there is for cancers December 2018 Six of Wands in the reverse. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. There's something here that you guys are very undecided about. Okay? And I feel like whatever this is, it's going to block a lot of things for you. Alright? With the Ace of uh, Wands here, you do have something powerful coming in, but you guys are scared to take that path. You're scared to go towards it. Um, because something is just, I feel like it's mentally just holding you back. So... There's something that just you're not going to find victory in. Okay, for some of you, maybe it's with the Leo Aries or Sagittarius or just something that you were passionate about building or going towards. But with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, you're really going to have to deal with uh, the emotions that are going to be pouring out of you as this happens because I feel like this is something that emotionally um, is going to throw you off. We have the world card in the reverse. So something that you guys have to close out that you have not closed out yet. Someone that you need to walk away from because things are not going to work out. So who is it in your life, guys, that needs to be dropped? Or what is it that you need to move yourself away from? What here is debilitating you? Um, for a lot of you, it could definitely be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini that you have to give up on. For others of you, it could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But regardless of the energy, you guys, your, you know, the side energy, you guys are going to have to be realistic with yourselves, okay? This is something that I feel like you guys are really suppressing the pain about, but it's something that just feels forced. Six of Swords, you got to move away, okay? Release this burden, guys. I keep dropping these cards, but... So it is what it is, guys. Um, again, you do have something that does want to come in, but it's just a matter of you being receptive to it. And you know what? If you're not in a place where you're ready for something new, that's fine. No one says that you have to go from one thing to the other because I feel like that's when we're not healing because we're constantly distracted by different things. But just be real, okay? If you know something's not going to work out, then just move away from it. If you know that there's something good that can come in, um, you know, take your time. Pace it. All right, it doesn't have to be something that you jump into overnight, but definitely something that you should consider, especially if it's something that will move you away um, from just being around bad energies or things that just wasn't working for you. All right, so you guys just have to be very mindful um, of who's good in your life and who's not good in your life at this point or what situations are good for you and which aren't, okay? All right, guys, so in regards to readings, if you guys like my style and everything that I do, I am constantly posting a daily energy on my Instagram. It's High Vibrations 44 um, You guys could also DM me on Instagram if you guys just need any questions answered, you know, very quick. It usually takes me like a day or two to get back, but just give me time. I say five days just to put a huge safety net around me, um, but it usually takes around a day or two. So you guys can DM me for that. It's 15 bucks a question. Now, in regards to my personal readings, guys, um, for those of you that I've been, you know, working with the past few months, I really went through something heavy and it got to the point where I'm the type of person that sometimes if I have a lot of work to do, but I'm also going through something heavy, I just shut down. Although I know I should be working and I know I should be pushing myself, I, just, I literally just, it's like I freeze, I can't. So um, I just went through something and I really, really just needed some time to myself and it was really, really difficult because I had so much work to do um, and <laughs> I'm at the point where if I don't work for a day, I am going to get emails from at least, you know, five, six people saying, hey, where's my reading at? So it was just so much anxiety and I really just had to find something new that was going to work for me. So now I am completely cutting back like 85% on the amount of readings I used to do because I used to just allow anything to come in. Now I'm only doing three readings a day. That is it. So when you guys go on my website now, which is highvibrationswithliz.com um, and it's in the description below. But when you go and you're booking, I only do 30 minute readings now. So when you book it, you can choose what day to get it. All right. So I leave three slots open, um, two, two thirty and three. Um, don't really look at the time. Just select one of those slots and that'll be the day that you get it. So it might not be two on the dot, but you'll get it that day. That's just to lock in your spot for that day. OK, so that is the system that I'm going by. Um, it's definitely going to be way more organized and way more manageable and realistic on my end. Um, not only that, but if you guys do have something that's very, very pressing and, you know, you need to hear from me and I don't have any availability that's there as soon as you need it, I still will 
will offer emergency readings, so 30 minute emergency or an hour emergency. Now for the standard 30 minute, um, you guys will get a pre-recorded video, but if you get an emergency, whether it's the 30 minute or the hour, then you will have the option of speaking to me, whether it's through Skype or a phone call, just depends on where you are in the world, okay? Um, other than that, that is about it. Like I said, guys, since I'm cutting back a lot, I did raise the prices because it's, you know, it's not going to be as easy to get a hold of me. But for those of you that still need to just hear something from me and, you know, that's not within your price range, um, I'm keeping the $15 question option there. So you can ask me whatever, open-ended, yes or no, and I will respond, uh, video response, and I'll send it to you. So there's something for everyone, guys. Um, and I try to make it so that I'm not overworking myself anymore and so that everyone can realistically still get a hold of me. Me, but it's manageable for me okay so I love you guys so much if anybody got caught up in like all my stress and what I was going through I am sorry for that but I say this with love and I hope that you guys have the same attitude towards life when you are going through something in your body your heart your mind your soul your heart, you know just everything about you is telling you to take a break you're gonna have to take a break and I love the work that I do and I love working with people and I have just met so many amazing individuals through my channel but I will always put myself first and even if that makes somebody angry, I'm okay with that. I will always put myself first. So for those that understand that, thank you so much and I hope that for those that didn't understand it, that we can be good in the future, but if not, it is what it is. I love y'all. Take care, Cancer.